it was a nightmare on Christmas Day for folks in Frazier. Frazier 911. Uh, hi. I think our house is gonna fall. I'm sorry? Now the report is in, revealing what really caused that sewer collapse that destroyed homes and took months to fix. Start there at 5 30. It was really mostly just theories. We really had no definitive answers on why this happened until today. We've been waiting for this yep. for quite some time. The Macomb County Public Works Office hired a national expert, and as Nick Monticelli reports, they found that this was an accident that could have been avoided. This sinkhole was really the worst interceptor uh, collapse, probably the worst infrastructure uh, disaster we have ever had in Macomb County's history. Candace Miller was very frank in describing the devastating 2016 Christmas Eve sinkhole and what caused it. It was really human error. That was determined by a national expert who found a contractor doing repairs on the Oakland Macomb Interceptor District drain made a mistake in May of 2014. Let me try to explain this as best I can because I am in no way an engineer. However, there was some work being done on this sewer line over in Oakland County. In order to do that work, they had to shut down the sewage pipes. The gate to do that is right over here near Garfield and 50 Mile Road. So they shut that down, stopping the flow. When they were done with their work, they reopened this gate, but they opened it way too fast. It's supposed to be done over several hours. This was done over several minutes. So take a look at this. When they opened that gate, that rush of sewage came coming barreling down westbound at 15 mile road and then hit a restricted pipe right here. It goes from 11 feet down to 8 feet. So when it came from this down to this, that sewage essentially hit a wall and it exploded, causing that pipe to have fractures all over the place. In fact, you can see how it's demonstrated. This shows the water flow when it was opened during that 11 foot pipe section. And then when it hits that restriction pipe, it but boom. And Candace Miller says that is very bad. So bad the Macomb Interceptor Drainage District will be filing claims against insurance companies looking to recoup the $75 million spent fixing all of this. Sometimes you don't get everything 100% in an insurance claim. I mean, that is our claim. That was the cost. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're open to a, a settlement here. But if we can't get a, a very reasonable uh, settlement, we're going to we're just going into court. In Clinton Township, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.